Hey, it's Joy. I have FSD Beta 10.9 on my car, and I'm going to go drive on that tricky street again and see if there's been any improvements. I also want to mention that even though I do have FSD Beta, you would probably notice that I don't have a lot of FSD Beta driving videos on my channel. And the reason is FSD Beta has been working, I would say, 80 to 90% perfectly every time I use it. So the driving videos, I, if I produce one, it's just going to be boring. And the only FSD beta drive videos that I'm going to be doing for this channel would be this particular stretch of road that is challenging because it has tiny mini runabouts on a super narrow street. And on the navigation map, several of these intersections, it does not even indicate that it has a roundabout. So I'm wondering if Tesla would start to label these objects as I am reporting it during my drive. So let's go and see if it's different from my last drive. We are now entering the neighborhood with little streets, narrow streets. 500 feet. And um, turn right onto let's see how 10.9 is performing now. Now turn right onto Lucerne Avenue. First stop sign. Perfect. And then we have speed bumps coming up. It's recognizing this first one and it's slowed down a little bit, which is great. There's a person walking the dog crossing the street right in front of me and second speed bump. And then coming up another speed bump. This one will recognize it at the very last second. So it did not really slow down <clears throat> all that much and we have more speed bombs coming up here's another one great and this is a little little bit of tricky stop sign because it kind of curves and it's proceeding correctly in 500 feet, turn left. And we got street. more speed bumps coming up. And it's recognizing it on the screen. Slow down for it. And now turn left onto Aguilera Street. Now we're gonna get on that tricky street with many little roundabouts. So That car's going first, and then I have to do a little bit of assist here because my car was waiting for that car, but my car should have gone first because I arrived at the intersection first before this person. And this is still stopping at um, the crosswalk, which should just slow down instead of stopping. Normally, and then, um, yeah, this is still a little bit. Yeah, I still had to assist a little bit. Um, and there was a car to the left, he was waiting for me to go around. And let's see how this is gonna perform. Oh, it actually recognized. Okay, this one did perfectly which is great. And then here goes the final one. And it only recognized it as speed bumps. So yeah, I got hunked because the car slowed down. Um, but uh, the last one did not recognize as a mini, mini roundabout. It only recognized the cones. So there's still work to do, hopefully Tesla will start tagging these mini roundabouts as um, 
objects to avoid and go around on the street. So I'm going to now head back that direction and um, do another round. And again, I want to emphasize this is the edge case of FSD beta. Normally, the car works wonderfully the majority of the time. It's this particular street in my area that is causing object recognition issues for FSD beta because it is not that clearly marked. Um, it is not indicated on the actual navigation map that there is a roundabout and it is not a traditional big roundabout. It's a tiny little one. So that's why whenever Tesla releases a new FSD beta update, I come on this particular street to test it out and to help Tesla better the vision recognition technology. Back on the same route and um, it's a red light here right now, but um, in previous videos, if you watch them, for some reason, if this light was green and the car tries to go through the intersection, it will always phantom brake a little bit. So I don't understand why. Um, obviously today I'm not going to find out because it's red light already, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so it's going through this intersection fine, but then here's the first roundabout, which a car is not recognizing and I have to disengage just like previous times. So I don't think um, the um, recognition is uh, working, but this second roundabout, it worked fine, which is great. And um, this third one, Let's see. Yeah, it is um, confused. So still no improvement here. Unfortunately, had to disengage. So hopefully um, Tesla will update the object tag. And then this one was around roundabout as well. And it was not recognized because on the navigation map, it is not designated or indicated that there is actually a roundabout. And then we have a couple of more little ones. I'm actually gonna reduce the speed um, to five below the maximum because these are not on the map still. And uh, you can see that little car in front of me is uh, having trouble navigating. And then my car phantom braked and I had to assist just a little bit. And then here we go. And the car is kind of recognizing it, but it's very fuzzy. So yeah, nope, still has not updated, but there was a slight improvement just back there. So there has been slight improvements at a couple of these roundabouts, but it is still not at the level where FSD beta can just drive itself flawlessly and perfectly like the main roads. I really hope that Tesla will continue to get my input, at least from me, I know I'm just one in the 60,000 FSD beta testers out there, but I really hope that they will start tagging these objects in the middle of the road, even though it's not officially on the navigation map, to recognize them as a roundabout and that it's going to navigate it correctly and maybe go back to Google Map, for example, and say, hey, our data indicates that there are roundabouts. So please put them on the map so that our technology can work better according to your navigation information. So there it goes. 
FSD Beta 10.9 Tricky Street Challenge. I will be back when maybe V11 is released. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I will see you next time and God bless.